Well, now a word with the gold medalist in the 3,000 metres, Angela Chalmers, who's talking to Stuart Story. Angela, many, many congratulations. It was a perfect ending, wasn't it? Oh, it was a perfect day. Uh, I've never, ever had the support of a crowd like that in my career, ever. I mean, I've been in foreign cities with crowds like this, but knowing every person in their stands, well, almost everyone is behind you, just, I just used that to my advantage. Now, you didn't, I suppose, know the form of the two Kenyans, and they went off so quickly. What thoughts went through your mind? Well, I thought that I would just have to be really uh, confident and relaxed and still run my own race. And if they were going to run that fast, then they deserve to be ahead of me. I mean, I was certainly thinking about making the second half of my race stronger if they were going to be like that. So I went out fairly relaxed. I don't know what the splits were, maybe pretty fast, though, but I, I felt well within myself. And uh, fortunately, they weren't able to hold on to it. <laughs> so I continued to run my pace, and, and um, I really wanted to run a good time today. I'm in excellent form. I did a 5.26 2K time trial about a week ago, and I, so I knew that I had to use that form today, regardless of what place that gave me. <laughs> but the crowd lifted you. I mean, you carried the flag. They were here for you then. They're here for you now. It's wonderful being at home and being so successful. Oh, it was wonderful. Before the race started, though, I almost started crying because everyone was starting to cheer already, and I thought, oh, God, I've got to live up to this. And then I thought, no, I promised myself I was going to enjoy this experience. It's once in a lifetime thing, and I just wanted to cherish it. And I think I did. <laughs> I think you did brilliantly. Well done indeed. Congratulations. Thank you.